Okay, I'm going to talk to you about WordPress plugins. What it is, is it's a piece of software that provides your blog with extra functionality. So your WordPress soft, your WordPress blog is actually just a standard website, but when you install these plugins, it can make your website very powerful. And it's not about finding as many plugins as possible to install on your, on your WordPress site, but more so choosing a few very powerful ones that can help you accomplish the goals for your site. So now that we know what a plugin is, let's go ahead and look at a couple of the default plugins that were installed whenever we first installed our blog. And um, basically right now I'm in the Internet Abundance site, so I'm just going to hit Control Tab and switch over to my dashboard because I've already installed it. And this is the dashboard. And when you first install WordPress, there's two plugins that are automatically installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the left and I'm going to scroll down to plugins and I'm just going to click on it and it's going to take me to the main site. And what it's going to do is it's going to show me that there's two plugins already that are installed on the site. The first one is the Akismic plugin. This is a really important plugin. It's used to protect your blog from comment and trackback spam. And unfortunately, there's many systems out there for spamming your blog with comments. And this is a plugin that protects against that. This is a very important plugin. In fact, it's so important I have a separate tutorial so that you can better understand what it is. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything with this right now. Then there's the Hello Dolly plugin. And this is just an example plugin to show it, show you how they work. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor over delete and click and yes I want to delete these files. Now let's talk about how to find and install a new plugin and to do so um, what you're going to do is you're going to put your cursor over the plugins and then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click add new and then what we're going to do is I'm going to put my cursor over the search bar and what we're going to do is we're going to install your first plugin and I'm going to just type subscribe to comments and then click search plugins and this will give me the results of my search and if you want to find out more information about the plugins all you need to do is you need to just uh, click on details so let's go ahead and do that here you can read the description on this and what it will do is it'll tell you what it does this one subscribes to comments um, this will basically allow um, people that leave a comment to enable an email to be sent to them if somebody responds to their email or their comment that they place on your blog. Um, there's also information about installation and frequently asked questions. So um, let's go ahead and install this. I'm going to X out of this and just click install now. Yes, I'm sure I want to install it. And then I'm going to want to click activate the plugin. And as you can see here, um, the Akismet, I have not activated this one yet, so it's still grayed out. But the one that has been activated is the subscribe to comments, and it's white. OK, so now what I want to do is I want to go look at my website and see if it is um, if that shows up. So just show you what it looks like. I'm going to hit the Refresh button. I believe I'm going to have to log out for us to look at it. So I'm going to log out. I go into my website. This is hopefully one of the only times I'm going to have to log out to, to look at it, a plugin. But basically what I've done is here's my, way, my main site, the first page, and I'm going to click on this posting that was the default posting that was on this when I loaded my website. <clears throat> and as you can see, here's the first default posting. That's an example. And this here will enable you to put in a name, your email, your website, and a comment and right here is a little plugin that allows you to be notified via email if you would like to get any responses if anybody has responded to your comment so that's an example of the first plugin that we put in and I will have many more for you